In the UK, we eat 34 million eggs a day. We fry them, boil them, scramble them, but we don't expect them to hatch. Because eggs from a supermarket aren't the kind of things that do hatch. Are they? Okay, so maybe the idea of trying to hatch supermarket eggs is a little extreme, but whatever. Step one, visit a supermarket. So apparently quail's eggs are way more likely to hatch than any other eggs. I mean, it's quite weird to think that these eggs, because you normally buy these to eat, obviously, could actually turn into life form. Yeah, but the same with your sperm. Yes. To be fair. I know. Which some people do normally slight eat. guilty moment after every masturbation period. All those so. little dead Joshes. So I bought the eggs, but these eggs had been laid, accidentally fertilized, collected, trucked to a distribution house, sent to a supermarket, and eventually purchased by me. Now, because I'm not actually a quail, I couldn't just sit on the eggs for three weeks and hope they hatched, so I had to buy myself an incubator. Luckily, that was a business expense. Hey! Oh my god, and there's like a famous person. You guys always look the craziest thing. <laughs> you think it's gonna work? You see, it reminded me of like, actually like 10 year olds. So, now that these 10 year olds had their electronic bottom, it was time to use their expertise to build the incubator. Look at that. Now I won't bother explaining how incubators work, but basically we had to ensure that the humidity and temperature was exactly the same as a hen's ass. Here we go, I don't, this doesn't feel like it's gonna work. You're gonna have a chick in your house. Not for the first time. <laughs> Around in the rooms looking at me like I've gone a bit crazy. So I thought this was a total waste of time. I mean, eggs from a supermarket are not going to hatch. But I went along with it, and now we had to watch eggs warm up for 21 days, which is pretty boring. So here's Donald Trump saying the exact same thing 21 times. Billions and 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 billions apparently these are about to hatch I I'm a little bit more skeptical I, we picked one up there's a crack in it which you'll see over there what are you not telling the people at home Josh well you said that you heard a tweet it went tweet tweet tweet, tweet. <laughs> it, it, it did so we now need to take the eggs from the racks of the incubator to the floor of the incubator so that they can be ready to hatch and then, just as I was thinking, this whole thing was a complete waste of time. <gasps> oh my god, it's moving! It's moving! Shh, shh, shh. Quick, get in there, get it in. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Very gently. Oh my god, it's hatching. Okay, oh, it's, it's moving. It's not, it's not gonna hatch if it's not in there, mate. It's all very weak. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's f***ing hatching. Oh my god. Oh my god. Turn it the other way up, turn it the other way up so the hatch is on the top. Must I turn it? No, don't turn it's it. It's moving itself, it's moving itself. It's <laughs> We've hatched supermarket eggs! <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> so. Look at the one on my viewfinder here, it's, it's literally bubbling. Okay, just keep watching. Just keep watching for in a minute it'll do something. Did you oh, see that? Yeah. So how long until they actually... So it should happen in the next 25 minutes. It eats its own um, shell. We Did you do that with your mother? Huh? Did you do that with your mother? It's disgusting. Tuck into the amniotic sac. Ooh. No, yum, yum, that. yum. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, it is so f***ing close. Oh my... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's happening. Oh my god! Imagine being born and the first thing you see is four cameras and 55 <laughs> eggs around you. <gasps> I feel like we're hatching dinosaurs. What is that? Here we go. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, I'm shaking with excitement. I feel like it's its wing. Is it still alive? Yeah, it's still breathing. Jack, we need a name. Oh my god, it's that one! It's that one! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Come on! Come on, little fella! Come on, little fella! Come on, buddy! Come on, buddy! Oh, <laughs> like, we have no idea if this is normal or not. Is this normal? It's still breathing. It's still. Oh yes! Oh, yes! 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 Oh. There, come on, little buddy. That is unbelievable. That is actually Jimmy, unbelievable. We have literally. <laughs> Sorry, mate. 
that would have been eaten by some oh, posh old drinks party. Are you going to send this to Casper for it? No, 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 don't you dare do that. What do you mean the They're so fragile. I actually cannot believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly can't believe this has worked. So you could have eaten that. This was exhilarating. An egg from Sainsbury's was a real life bird. I was now a new parent, but needed some help. So I headed down to Hampshire to meet Sarah, a quail expert willing to share her expertise. I'm Sarah Sladen, and I used to keep quail. You need chick crumb. Water. Water, okay. Marble. Here's my show round. Avery. This is the heat. <laughs> Sarah kindly gave us all we needed to raise the baby quail and gave me the hug I always wanted. So we made our... Oh, Jesus. Exit. We came home to find our new friend doing some exercise. It was happy, healthy, and kind of hunky. But the time had come for it to move home. Yeah, I know. Have you ever picked up these one of these before? No. You're going to kill it. It's not going to bite. No, it's not going to bite. What do you think it is? A dinosaur? Just scoop, Jenny. Go, go, just the other. Uh, scoop, scoop, just scoop. <gasps> oh, that's worse, Chippy. Just scoop it up. I don't want to drop it. I'm not going to drop it. You mustn't drop it. You've got to really need to. Here you are. Go tight on it. Go tight. Oh my god! Oh, the camera. Okay, sorry for the expletives there. But picking up a newborn quail is quite hard. Luckily, Archie was there to catch it. A relief. Or we might have had a hashtag quail fail. Gonna get it in. I mean, you sorry. Are the most appalling cricket player I've ever <laughs> <laughs> I that. Right. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I, I'm sorry, heard. but it would have just fallen to its death. It's a great catch. Now, imagine that you were destined to end up in a salad, but somehow a YouTuber rescued you and brought you to life. What's the first thing you want to see? So cute. Isn't it, <laughs> isn't it mate, sweet? Mate, you know, you know like, I used to breed like chickens when I was younger, so I used to have what? the other bases. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Did you not know that? So look, you've made him a little tunnel that he goes through sometimes. Come on, go through your tunnel. Go on. He's so cute. There he goes. Wee! <laughs> oh my god, he's cute. So it's 10 o'clock at night now. It's our little friend's first night in his new home after being born. He, he seems really good though, like running around, eating, drinking. Um, now seems to be having a little nap in the corner. Amber learns the downside of parenting. Excrement. That oh, shit. It's stepping in its own shit. Oh my. Okay. Amber's become attached to the new pet of the flat. Jack, you've been replaced. I'm like his uncle. Hello. Naturally, growing up around me and Casper, the quail became quite the diva. Like any youngster, this quail needed no excuse to join a party. Uncle Jesse! He's hanging out at the party. And I finally got another follower. It's like day six now. He's getting a lot more puffy, and he's also like getting very used to being around me. With my man homie. Now, you might be thinking, Josh, you need to name the quail. Haha, <laughs> yes, but I have thought of this, and that's why later this week, our baby quail is gonna receive his or her name from the one and only Chris Hemsworth. Hi, uh, Chris Hemsworth. Agent H. Agent it is, H. It is Australian sex god. Australian. Sex god. <laughs> Do hereby declare with the power given unto me. <laughs> <laughs> ripping that dress apart. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I do hereby declare the power given um, to me. Invested in you. Invested. By Joshua Peters. By Joshua Peters. That this baby quail shall forevermore be called. That this baby quail shall forever be called. So there you have it. Later this week, Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson are going to be naming our little friend over here. As you can see, uh, he or she is not that little anymore. It's actually grown quite substantially. And that is why later this week, we will be sending the quail to its new home, which is at a farm in the local area. It can live out its life there, a long, happy life, as a quail should live. Uh, you know, it, it was... Oh? oh? I thought it just did a shit on me, but it, it's okay. It, um, it was from a carton of eggs, which is absolutely ridiculous. And now here it stands on my arm. It's been a great journey. I'm gonna miss him or her, we still haven't figured out the gender yet, but hopefully we can go and visit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you catch the one later this week. And say goodbye.
to our new friend.